Hi, this is Claudia for Hit the Floor, um, and I'm here with two of the guys from Black Veil Bride. Hi, Hi I'm Ashley. I'm Jake. I'm Jake. How are you guys? All's good. All's good. We're here in the All's good. We're here in the UK doing a press tour for our new record, Wretched and Divine. So we're excited to be here. When's that released in February? In January, January. for us. Yeah. January. 8th. See, you knew that. Then January eighth. Yes. You've got a movie coming out as well to mm -hmm. promote the album. Is that that's going to be released before? Is it? Yeah, in the, st it'll, in the States it'll come out earlier before here, and then I think that after the record comes out in January, it'll, it'll come out here. But it's only been it'll screened be in certain places. Not it? yet. It'll be, there'll yet. be limited yeah, there'll be limited screenings in the States, and um, it'll be available on pay-per-view as well, so you can view it online oh, that so way. Yeah, so everyone can see it yeah. then. And the two are linked, like your album and the movie, is it like a... Yeah, it's a visual. Yeah, it's a visual representation of oh, the record. Yeah, it, it, it's all a concept record, and then the movies kind of coincides with the album, and the songs all tell a story through the movie. Oh, that's really yeah. cool. So when's the movie out? I think December for us, December. for the states. Yeah. But it won't be maybe till like February or something for the UK. Okay. With the album release. Yeah. And then you're coming back to the UK for the Kerrang tour. Yep, yep. we're headlining the Kerrang tour this year, so That's we're excited exciting. for that. Yeah. Yeah. And we always say like the UK is like our second home. You know, we we come here a lot. We toured here a lot. We sort of like broke here. You know, yeah. a lot of people embraced us first because they love hard rock and heavy metal here. So, and yeah, first time we came here, it was, we were just blown away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we supported the Murder Dolls the first time we came yeah. here, and. Um, XP. Second time we came back, we were headlining bigger venues, then we played with them and sold out everything. Oh, so it was just kind of unreal. Yeah. Everything, not even venues, supermarkets, gas yeah. stations, we sold out everything. Yeah, <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah, everything was sold out. Nothing left anywhere. Yeah. So you guys um, are playing with Killers on Pair Killers. Okay. You know them. Um, when, you know, Kia the Singer? Okay. Like, he found out that I'm interviewing you today and sent you a text. Okay. Saying, um, do you guys want to make it a superhero? Theme for the tour, for the tour, like everyone wears costumes and stuff. We wear super, we, we wear are our own, own superheroes. Super he wants to be like Iron Man. And oh, but see, we are we are our own superheroes <laughs> yeah. though. We don't have to emulate don't someone else. else. And so that was that was our thing, even about our band, is to create sort of that superhero aspect anyhow to yeah, us. So larger than life. Yeah. Character, and that's who we are. So we will be in you costume. We will be in costume when we go. We are superheroes. Tier. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I've got a few questions from fans. They sent us obviously some questions, and one of the questions was, "How much do your fans mean to you?" Everything. We wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for them. Yeah, I think obviously, I mean, a lot of bands say that too, but it is such a true yeah, testament. Without them, who who would we be? We'd be making music by ourselves in our rooms, you know, whatever. But there's not an yeah. outlet. You know, or without the fans, you can't go sell out a show and play it. You, you couldn't pay the bills. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, how much? Like, you know, like. <laughs> That's a good point. So, and um, do you get like weird presents or really amazing presents from fans? Both. Both. Yeah. Both. Or like the weirdest thing you can think of that someone's ever given you? Well, you have to be careful what you say on Twitter because you say one thing <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're obsessed with it and you'll get nothing but that. Like for a long time it's been Andy with peanut butter and he would just get jars of peanut butter all the time. So we have like a hundred like cans them. of peanut like, butter yeah, on our bus, like, like, but why? Jesus. It's unnecessary, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Any really good one? That's like I don't know, alcohol. If yeah, fans alcohol, yeah. start bringing us booze, that's always good. you know, I'll get like stuff um, like panties wrapped in Jack Daniels ball or something. <laughs> <laughs> we tried the honey one. Oh, we love yeah. that. Yeah, Maybe straight. We tried the Christmas spice one, yeah. Christmas yeah. spice, Christmas Jack spice. Daniels. No, I All right, well, that sounds cool. Is that from here? All right, so maybe our fans from here yeah, will have to bring us that nice on the Kerrang tour. <laughs> on the Kerrang yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah. That's something you probably have, like, loud to high now. That'll work. <laughs> yes. That's cool. So you've got, like, loads of, loads of stuff going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that, like, any boxes left to tick, any gigs you really want to play or any countries you really want to tour in? I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like that. I think so far, like we're saying, the boxes to tick. It's like we're taking one thing at a time and stuff. I mean, this next endeavor for us, making this sort of record, it was sort of like um, outside the box for us, but it was exciting and adventurous to do something, you know. So we have the new record coming up, a new film, a documentary, um, and then a whole new world tour again. So that's exciting. But yeah, the, the, the whole process was definitely outside the box for us, and 
out of our comfort zone. So it, it took a little bit to get used to, and there was so much involved with it. At, like like you said, the documentary being filmed in the studio and then doing the movie and filming all of that. And, you know, there'd be long, long days where it was very tiring, but, um, you know, the, at the end of the day, it's better than anything else. That you push could, yeah, yeah. You, you got to push yourself farther than, you know, always got to step it up a notch each time. Is there anything you miss, one thing you miss in particular the most, like being away on tour for so long, doing a massive tour now, anything from home? You guys say anything? Um, I don't know, I've got used to missing everything, so <laughs> it's been so yeah, long. We've been, been on so tour long. for it's just like, it's just the past two years yeah, to ask us if we miss anything now. Normal. It's sort of like, uh, I got used to it. A lot of people ask us about Christmas and stuff like this year. What are you going to do for Christmas? Like, yeah. I don't even know where we're going to be. So it's you know, like, we and we've missed and we've missed Christmas like the past couple of years and stuff. We've been on the road, so I don't know. What do you do? What do you do? Just a band? Oh, it's just another <laughs> day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christmas tree on the tour bus. Yeah, I don't know. I think we all grew up, you know, doing the whole like going to grandma's house or whatever yeah. it is, yeah, or yeah. the Christmas tree and you know dinner and all that kind of stuff. But I don't know, being on the road and doing what we do, it's sort of like that's the labor of love that we have to have. Yeah. It, yeah, it's a really big thing. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, kind of that's the sacrifices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm. Um, yeah. yeah. So kids, <laughs> it's not always glamorous and it's not always fun. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I think you guys have all got the same tattoos, is that right? Well, not all completely we all, all the same. We tattoos. have the same exact <laughs> sleeves <laughs> and everything. <laughs> we have a couple of the same yeah, like, band got, like band tattoos. Band tattoos. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't know. I can, I can tell you. So, this so is we one have, of them. You can see this one. I can't. Yeah, so the single, the, so the single yeah. for Fallen Angels, we did that like after we recorded that song because we were like thrilled and stoked about it. So we all went. We got with one of our co-producers as well. We got that tattoo. Uh, we got a Seagram 7 tattoo, which is American Whiskey. We got that tattoo after a tour as well. And then we all have like the first sort of like bat this, winged this was the very first, uh, Black Veil Bride yeah, the first logo. We, we, we all have got. that as well. So we all have like a three, I think. Like, three, everyone. Yeah. All, we, yeah, we all so have the them. whiskey is the one that you drank on the tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We Does drink a lot of it. Remind you of the tour. Uh -huh. Pretty much every time. <laughs> yeah. Every day. <laughs> Not every every day. tour. <laughs> So is there, have you got anything special surprises planned for like the, your tour, the current tour, any new things? Sort of I think everything's going to be doing. Everything's going to be exciting, yeah. Yeah, it's just going to be a whole, it's, it's a new record cycle. It's going to be different, you know. Playing new songs obviously is one of the big things, but... Um, yeah, and with the know, record we, and the movie, it's like yeah, we're going to play that out on stage. You're going to see a lot of more production and stuff. Yeah. You will see the visual imagery that we have, so... It's going to be like little production and involved, oh, and so hopefully we'll be blowing shit up. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hopefully it'll all tie. Yeah, it'll yeah. all tie in together, you and people will be pleased. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not saying like blowing buildings up, you know, pyro and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So, what is planned? What's your next your next plan for the? <laughs> world tour, world, world domination. All year. Yeah, yeah, I meant like yeah, we have touring a, all year. It's gonna be. Crazy. Oh, you're gonna be on tour all the next year. Yeah, huh? yeah, pretty much. I mean, we're already, we've already booked everything like January to March now. That's available that everyone knows about, and then we're already like booking the rest of the tour yeah, for the rest of the year in 2013. Hi. Uh, this is my buddy. <laughs> he needs a hug. <laughs> this is Andy Bearside. Hi, everybody. Yeah. I'm Andy. I'm gonna sit with you guys. That's cool. I was gonna ask we you are, something we anyway. Are, we are. Gonna, we are. I, sorry. Organizing her. This is her first really? interview. Yeah. All three of you. Uh, usually, uh, the singer. Really awkward. Usually, the singer of the band will come and lay on two of the other members of the band. Is that, that, happen? yeah. Yeah. that happens so at that's almost that's all of them. That's really cool. Yeah. So I'm, I'm all right now. I was gonna ask you something anyway. What's that? About your last name. What's that? German. It's German. She's yeah. from Germany. I'm German. Oh, okay. Do you know what it means? Uh, I have a lot of guesses. Yes. <laughs> Um, no, I've heard I've heard a lot. Uh, a, a customs officer told me that it was like a slang for like but beer can. But they laughed can, first, like right? Yeah. Oh, the customs officer really? like, yeah. 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 It's like a beer sack. It's like someone who drinks a lot of beer and just hangs around on the side for just like. A <laughs> okay, that's that's a different <laughs> one. We've heard a bunch though. Yeah. Um, I'll go with. I had a beer sack one time full of. No, she's saying yeah. she's like saying like it's no, a, like a guy who's a, a sack, but yeah, yeah. we don't we don't use that term. So like a couch potato. Yeah, like but a beer okay. sack, a like beer a... drinking couch potato. Okay. Oh wow. All right. 
A beer drinking <laughs> couch potato. All right. Well, I've never been described as that. I'm sorry. Except, I guess, <laughs> except I guess legally I am that. I don't know. I don't know. That sucks. All right, I come over here and I just get told sad things. You guys go back to your interview. I don't want to part of this. I'm sorry, I'm not saying very much. I think that's only my questions now. Really? Okay, that's the one. That's that, the that one. Was, that was that the one. That was the one. She's like, wait, I have a question yeah. for you. This is what I wanted to ask you. I would have I would have been able to say anything else had I been up here. You just want to talk to me about my last name? No, no, I'm I'm all good. I'm just I'm just glad I joined up so I can get berated for the end of this interview. <laughs> She's in the prices right. Mean. I'm in the prices right. She's you can get really the price of, um, The price of your jacket. Oh, no, because if you guess it right, you get to keep it. I don't want it. It's oh, right. Okay. It's nothing against it. I just. <laughs> I just don't have. I don't, I don't, ha don't want you to have it. I don't have any. I don't have a deep love of blazers. It's a very nice blazer. I like this. The studding on it. It's very like Lady Gaga looking. If Lady Gaga and Hillary Clinton had a clothing line, <laughs> it'd, it'd be very yeah. <laughs> what would that be called? Cool, uh, called Hillary Gaga. Hillary Gaga. <laughs> Lady Clinton. <laughs> Lady Clinton. That's better. That's better. I like Lady Clinton. Lady that Clinton. sounds like George Clinton's wife. Like yeah. Parliament Funkadelic. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is this is digressing. I like your jacket. It's actually cool. I, I noticed the studding and everything. I thought it was awesome. Do you have any other studding anywhere? I can't see. Typically, the back of shoes is studded often now. I've seen that a lot. Piercings. Yeah, you've got a you've got a tongue, a mouth stud. Yeah. Other places? Yeah. This doesn't happen in most interviews, just so you know. You don't yeah. tell people about <laughs> exactly. your inappropriate piercings, right? <laughs> Get it together. You need to be a professional. Sorry, you can cut all that out. No, it's hard. all right. No, you have to keep it in there. People need to know. Yeah, no. People need to know. The more you know. People need to know. All right, then. Well, thanks very much for, like, coming and talking to us. Um,